was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. Welcome back to my channel, mother suckers. Hey, so the girlies from the relaxer boxes back in the 90s went viral after someone tweeted, I remember wanting to be the face of a hair relaxer so bad. And someone retweeted that and said, where are these girls today? Show yourselves. So the girls came outside. So the infamous model from the olive oil relaxer box said, I heard y'all were looking for the hair box girls. Here I go. I was the original ORS perm box girl. I know that's right. I mean, every girl in the 90s who was getting relaxers or begging her mother for relaxers wanted her hair swooped across her face, blowing in the wind like the girl from the olive oil box. Another iconic model came out and said, I outgrew the bang though. Whew, child, thank God. But I did want that bang back in the 90s, early 2000s. And just like clockwork, all of the relaxer girls came outside showing off their beautiful natural coils. Relaxers were heavily marketed to black and brown women in the 90s and early 2000s after fashion statements changed from afros and natural hair to silky, long, flowing hair. European hair was promoted as the beauty standard. I mean, every hair commercial, all you saw was a European woman with her hands behind her hair, and that was the goal. So black women used relaxers, what we call perms, to get as close to that as possible. Possible. I don't know about your experience, but growing up in New York, there was a lot of Latino owned hair salons and relaxers were so normalized that the beauticians would just automatically put relaxer in your hair. So there were some girls who were natural, went in for a wash and condition and trim and left with relaxed hair because a lot of those products were mixed with relaxer curl. But that trauma aside, it really was a proud auntie moment to see these young girls grow up to be beautiful women with natural, thick, healthy hair. And it's moments like this where I'm glad I didn't delete my Twitter. But here's where the girls started to gag. So one of the models, Cheyenne, came out and said, hey, that's me, LOL, and started to share the story time about how she became one of the girls on the perm box. She said, a photographer in ATL discovered me one day we were out. I remember telling my mom often I wanted to be on the cover of the boxes like the other little girls. She made it happen. He saw my passion for modeling and put us through with Kids Organics, my first shoot and start at modeling. Also, I couldn't smile with my teeth because I had just lost one of my front teeth or two, I can't remember, and they said it wouldn't look good. I was five at the time, LOL. And I thought to myself, damn, five years old was super young to get a relaxer, but honey, back in the 90s, anything was possible. But then I also looked at some of her recent pictures and noticed that her baby pictures and her recent pictures, her hair texture was the same. And it appears that she did admit this, but for some reason later deleted it. Someone said, you didn't even have a relaxer, did you? And then responded and said, I knew the boxes were lying to us, LOL. Someone who caught the comment tweeted, she says this hair wasn't even relaxed, just mousse and water. And I believe it. <laughs> I believe it. Y'all, I was clutching my pearls when Baby Tate came out and said, here I am today, a successful artist wearing 40 inch bust downs on national TV, still with no actual perm in my head. Hashtag them boxes be lying. A few women said that they knew that those boxes were lying, but majority of black women and girls were hoodwinked and bamboozled. The creamy crack to bald head pipeline really runs deep and honestly affected about two out of three black women. And to find out decades later that they were just getting silk presses, mousse, waters, comb outs, blowouts, like girl. Somebody owe me some money, okay? But shout out to the natural hair movement so that young girls today don't have to go through relaxers, burning, scabs on their head, losing their hair, and an overall image that their natural hair is not beautiful. But y'all let me know your thoughts. Did this bring up any nostalgic memories for you? Did this bring up any traumatic memories for you? Let me know down in the comment section when you got your first relaxer or let me know if you've always been natural. Let me know how you feel about the creamy crack industry promoting girls who already had the quote unquote good hair 
as relaxed hair. A hot mess, but it was so nice seeing these girls. It felt like a sister's reunion. <laughs> Be sure to like and double check that you're subscribed and I'll see you at the next one. Later.